doing some work on this tee box stems from the fact that there are traffic issues around the first green. And in order to give Paul and his staff um, the ability to, to spread traffic a little bit better between the first and 17th, 17th greens, the idea is to remove the uh, front section of the current teeing area at the second hole. Again, that will give them a lot more room uh, to spread traffic and wear. And then to regain this teeing area uh, to the right, forward and right of the, of the remaining tee box. Um, so if this teeing area will remain the same, the traffic will be able to spread out a little bit better. And the great thing about this is that the angle from high and right of the, of the uh, current tee box is, is probably the best angle to play into the, the second uh, green. Looking at old historic documents and photos, it actually appears that many, many years ago, the second tee was right of its current position. Uh, this actually might be one of the easiest tees I'll ever build in my entire life. Um, basically using the existing grade that I'm standing on, leveling it off to become the new back tee. Um, where the periscope has recently been moved to, I don't see the tee going any further back than that, obviously. So it'll be a relatively small tee adding some, what I would consider some significant yardage to uh, this particular par four. Well, Great. there's a nice little nook in the rocks here where a, a new forward tee on the green side of the bay will fit in nicely, naturally. Um, the rocks uh, in and behind where the tee will be will, will mask its view from the back tees, which is, which is always nice. And um, again, this tee is intended to eliminate the requisite carry over the bay from the current green markers. There are a few problems with these particular bunkers, uh, mainly related to the fact that they're built on a downslope. The, the downward nature of these particular bunkers causes a lot of playability issues with balls collecting down at the bottom end of the bunkers. More than that, you've got what could possibly be the greatest hazard in golf, a cliff leading down to the ocean down the left side of the hole. In the front left corner of the existing tee, um, reducing the carry over the bunkers to approximately 70 yards plus or minus. It's a beautiful little nook amidst these uh, rock outcrops in front of the current forward tee where a new forward tee will fit perfectly, fit in naturally um, amongst the rocks and most importantly reduce the carry uh, required uh, to get over the rock outcrop in front of the tees. Um, Estimate is that this tee will be in the range of 120 to 125 with about a 75 yard carry over the rock oak crop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the important thing is to be sure that the new tee is on an elevation where everyone playing the green markers will be able to see the green surface, um, which is going to work in conjunction with ensuring the tee doesn't stick out like a sore thumb from, as viewed from the back tees as well.